The Federal Ministry of Justice is urging law enforcement agencies to stop torture in their detention centers. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry noted that the National Committee Against Torture, with the support of the Federal Ministry of Justice and other stakeholders, are making efforts to end torture and ensure Nigeria complies with its international obligations. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Iria reports. The United Nations International Day in support of victims of torture is held annually on 26 June to speak out against the crime of torture and to honor and support victims and survivors throughout the world. During the COVID-19 lockdown, there were 105 complaints of human rights breaches filed by the National Human Rights Commission, 33 of which were in regards to torture. In 90% of the cases, the Nigerian police force was accused of being the violator. The at incidents of security agencies in respect to human rights violation brought about the need to engage them as world marks the International Day in support of victims of torture. These gatherings to enlighten them on the need to desist from using torture on detainees as it is a social vice. As a government, it behoves us to join hands against torture and adhere unequivocally to the notion that torture is unacceptable. We must never forget its victims. All stakeholders, both in the public and private sector, must speak with one voice against the perpetrator, perpetrators of torture. So what you are doing is both infectious and contagious to all law enforcement agencies. I, we have also, if you go into the provisions of our act, you will not see anything about torture again. Or anything about torture had been removed. And the, the, if you look at the objectives, he said to conform with international human rights standards. Raising public awareness of the Anti-Torture Act and the rights of victims of torture will help to create a culture of zero tolerance for torture in Nigeria. The judiciary is to play a key role in the eradication of torture from our justice system by ensuring speed adjudication of torture-related cases for victims to get justice and deter potential perpetrators of this act by the creation of special courts or designated judges to handle torture-related cases. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.